When I graduated, my math teacher invited me to her house and she had already outlined completely the courses and everything for me to be an electrical engineer. Well, when I went home and talked to my mother, her point was, well, Patty, why don't you go ahead and major in math and take some education courses because if you get partway through uh, engineering and get married and have babies, you won't have anything. I went ahead and uh, majored in education with a double major, math and English. Found I had a passion for it, so probably my mother made the right call. I teach mainly principles, and I do intro, social foundations, principalship, principles and instructional leader, and then I do practicum, which is our capstone course. The superintendent came to me and said he really wanted me to use my administrative degree. So he started out by having me be responsible for Title I. Then he asked if I would develop a gifted program. And then gifted program led to being responsible for testing and assessment. And then eventually wrote grants for art projects. It was kind of layered. I mean, he, he saw more into me than what I thought I was capable of doing and found I loved that too. What I want them to take away is the importance of change. You have to be really responsible for change and be comfortable with it. If we're aware of our new population, you're used to communicating by uh, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and all of the above. So you're already really comfortable with what we would now call distance learning. The thing that I think is most important of all our standards is ethics and to be ethical, because if you're ethical, you're going to be a good steward of your school, you're going to manage the budget well, you're going to have the appropriate curriculum for all students. Once you have that as your underpinning, then I would say relax and enjoy it, because it's a phenomenal experience.